Okay, you may be wondering what is this monstrosity on my bench today? And this is a um, 6SN7 SRPP preamp that I have been designing. Um, if you remember back, we built the 807 single ended amplifier, and on the front end of it, it had a couple 6SN7s in an SRPP stage, and I've just been enamored with the design of that uh, SRPP stage since then. And so I've continued to iterate with it, and um, I think I have designed a standalone preamp that uh, is worthy of, uh, well worthy of building. Um, I'm really happy with how this thing has turned out. I'm not quite ready to show the schematic on this unit yet for a couple reasons. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, one idea I've got in my head is to build this thing, put it into a chassis, walk you guys through it just like I did the 807 build and the upcoming KT88 build, and then you could go off and build your own uh, preamp. Another idea I've had in my head was to kind of keep, keep tweaking with this thing, perfecting it, uh, building a chassis for it, and maybe... Um, Basically, buy, I would buy up all the parts and assemble them all together into a kit and then sell them as a kit and include a video with the kit on how to assemble it uh, is another idea I've had. And then um, another idea I've got kicking around in the back of my head is to kind of introduce a phono stage into this um, preamp design. And so I got in, I've even got some crazy ideas on how I would go about doing that, but I'm, that I'm not ready to unveil. So at any rate, let's, let's talk about this preamp design a little bit. So first and foremost, much like the front end of that uh, 807 amplifier, it uses two 6S and 7s. Um, the first one here is basically nothing more, the first half of the first tube is nothing more than a... Uh, basically an impedance buffer uh, makes this thing easier to drive. Um, the second part of it starts to become it kind of the, the second part of this tube and the first part of this tube are the two SRPP stages here um, that are kind of ganged together and ultimately perform um, the SRPP almost push-pull like function. And then finally the last part of this tube here is another um, output buffer just to help with driving long cable lengths or, um, you know, uh, highly inductive loads, whatnot. So, um, pretty simple design overall. Um, however, there's a few things I really have enjoyed about this, um, continuing to tweak this design. One thing you may notice here is there's only one coupling capacitor here on the output being used in this whole design. Um, I did have to float the heaters over here. Um, because of the SRPP stage. And we've got a nice 100 ohm, can't you tell this high grade audio pot I'm using right here? Um, 100k ohm audio pot here on the input, but lo and behold, at the end of the day, things sounds amazing and uh, seems to be easily driven and it seems to uh, drive just about any type of source is what I've found thus far. I've been playing around with this uh, RCA amp that I uh, recently did a front end upgrade on and the, the marriage of this and this is pretty darn amazing, I will tell you that. So, um, you know, that's I'm going to leave you with that. I'm, I'm, I'm really, um, I'll give you a hint here, maybe up here in the upper left hand corner, I have called this the Zeus preamp. Uh, and you can see I've been working on it for over a month now. I've, I've spent a lot of airplane time on this. Um, I've been flying a lot for work lately, traveling the country, and so I've spent a lot of time just working on this design using um, some spice tools and whatnot. And uh, 
think I've got it where I want it at at this point. So I would just tell you to stay tuned. Uh, more will come on this preamp as I decide what to do. Please leave comments below whether you would want this just as uh, something you would build on your own and you would decide the chassis and the kit and how it looks or, or hey, should I, should I kind of bundle this up in a kit and sell them? Um, which would probably have a longer lead time to it, take me a little bit of time to get around to it. But it would make for a uh, beautiful little amplifier and people wouldn't have to worry about cutting chassis themselves, things of that nature. They could kind of follow step by step by step. One thing I have decided, if I ever build an amplifier kit, and this may be it, I am actually going to give you instructions on how to build it, and I'm also going to give you instructions um, that describe what each component you're putting in does and why it is there. That is one of the most frustrating things to me about kits that I have ever seen. Um, the old Heath kits, they told you how to put them together. They really didn't tell you what the components that you were putting into it did. So when you got done building the kit, you were kind of an expert at building something maybe or, or on your way to becoming an expert, but you really didn't understand what you just built. Uh, the same holds true with today's bottlehead kits and many others that I've seen. They tell you step by step, you know, put this resistor between ground and input number one, but they don't tell you the purpose of that resistor or why that value of that resistor was chosen in this case. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, give me feedback and comments and uh, we'll see where this, uh, where this thing takes off to. By the way, I'm using my trusty little uh, IP17 Heathkit power supply for this build. I have not yet built the power supply side of it, but I know the preamp works. Um, once you get there, the power supply is typically the, the easier part of the scenario. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone.